Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate seismic loads in accordance with the requirements of the ASCE 716 for the purposes of calculating your story drift. Now, according to the ASCE 716, section 12.8.6.2, it is permitted to determine the elastic drifts using the seismic design forces based on the computed fundamental period of the structure without the upper limit. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that in RAM frame. To get started, let's go up to the main menu, select the loads option, followed by load cases. As you can see, I already have some seismic loads that have been generated, and these will be specifically used for calculating the member forces and performing the code checks. But for this particular model, my goal is to also calculate the story drifts, and I'd like to take advantage of this code provision. To do that, I'm gonna create some additional seismic load cases. I'm gonna select the seismic radio button, select the appropriate code, and for this exercise, I'm using the ASCE 716 equivalent lateral force procedure, and then I'm going to name my seismic load case. I'm gonna specifically call mine out as drift. Once I do that, let's go ahead and click the add button. Now, once within this dialog, you're gonna enter all of your code parameters as you would for any other seismic load case. You're gonna coordinate these with your code requirements and your structure location. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the structural period information that's specified in this dialog. So in RAM frame, the fundamental period of the structure can either be calculated for an eigenvalue analysis, you can enter a user-specified period, or use the approximate fundamental period as defined in the ASCE 7, section 12.8.2.1. If you are generating seismic loads for member forces, RAM frame will enforce the upper limit on the fundamental period of the structure according to the building code. If, however, you're generating seismic forces for drift, RAM frame will not enforce that upper limit. Now to tell RAM frame that that's your intention, go to your provisions pull down menu and select the drift option. Once you're done, go ahead and click OK. Now here you can see I have two different sets of seismic load cases. These load cases, again, I'm gonna be using for member forces and performing my code check requirements. These seismic load cases I will be using to investigate my story drift. Let's go ahead and click OK and we'll perform an analysis. After the analysis is performed, RAM frame will provide you all the information that it used in order to calculate your seismic loads for each of your seismic load cases, and you can review this information in the Loads and Applied Forces report. To access that report, go to your Reports menu, then select Loads and Applied Forces. Now the first set of seismic load cases you're going to see are the seismic load cases that were generated for your member forces. You'll be able to see the variables used to calculate the structure period, and eventually the period that was used for calculating your seismic base shear. Let's go ahead and advance a little further in this report, and what we'll do is we'll find our seismic load cases that were specifically generated for drift. Again, you'll be able to see all the variables that were used to calculate the fundamental period, and you'll notice that RAM frame has not enforced the upper limit for the fundamental period. In addition to that, you'll be able to see the period that was used in the calculation of the base shear for these particular seismic forces. Now, what you're gonna notice is that the fundamental period that was calculated for each set of seismic load cases will ultimately affect the base shear of the structure for those load cases and 
the diaphragm forces. Let's go ahead and close out of this report. Now let's say, for example, I am interested in reviewing my story displacements. To do that, I'm going to go to my reports menu, and then I can select either story displacements or nodal displacements. Within this report, the program will provide me the story displacement for each level in each horizontal orthogonal direction for each load case that was included in the calculation. Now for this particular building model, I've decided to use my seismic load cases for drift for determining the story displacements. So what I'm going to do in this report is review the load cases that are specific at each level to those seismic load cases that were generated to ignore the upper limit of the fundamental period of the structure. In addition to reviewing it in report format, you can also review the story displacements or drift at any point in the structure using either the drift at a point command or drift at control points command. Now what happens next? I do want to make sure that I use these load cases just for determining the elastic story drifts in my particular model. So let's say, for example, that I'm taking this to the next level and we'll be performing a design on the steel lateral members directly within RAM frame. So let's go ahead and proceed on to the steel post-processor. Here, I've selected my steel design code and I'm going to generate my load combinations. Now for this particular model, I wanna specifically use the seismic load cases that were generated for member forces and not for drift in the code check requirements. So I have the option to go ahead and unselect particular load cases within the load combination generator. Let's go ahead and unselect the load cases that we would not like to use in our code checks. I can click on the generate button and you can see that only my member four seismic loads were incorporated into the load combinations and will therefore be utilized in the code checks of my members and also my rigid joints. At this point, this concludes our process for generating seismic loads in accordance with the requirements of the ASCE 716 for the purposes of calculating the story drift in RAM frame. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.